Good day everybody, welcome to today's video. Today's video is my 2006 F-150. I'm going to go through the procedure to show you how to replace the strut. I need to replace the upper and lower ball joints, so I'm breaking this down for the viewers and a whole bunch of short videos on how to tackle each individual part. Let's get started. Take a wire brush to the bolts or nuts you're going to be removing. You'll thank me later, especially for that tie rod one, because of that, if those threads are dirty, you're never going to get it back on. So what I want to say before you get started to remove the strut, you want to start soaking all the bolts down. There is three bolts for the strut up top, two in the front, one in the back there. You need to loosen those. There's the main bolt for the strut, of course, on the lower control arm. And you also want to remove the tie rod. Now, of course, in the video series, I'm going to have everything torn apart, but you only need to remove the steering linkage. That's the only thing besides what you're going to see. So let's get started. Now, once the threads have been cleaned and wire brushed, I like to bust the nuts free by hand first, just to make sure there's not any issues. And I put the impact gun on it. Make sure the nut comes off completely. This is very important because if you bust the tie rod free and that nut hasn't come off yet, all it's going to do is end up spinning and you're going to be angry. So then I just tap it on the side with a hammer. I could tell that the tie rod was starting to drop and I just lightly tapped it up top and then spin the nut off and then slide that out of the way. The next step is to remove the bolt for the lower part of the strut. That could be a little bit of a hassle, especially if it's been in there a long time because it likes to seize itself in there. So after you remove the bolt, you can wiggle the bottom part of the strut up with a pry bar or something. You want to be careful so you don't damage the boot of the CV axle. And for that, you can do by turning your whole spindle assembly over to your right. Now, of course, like I said, I'm taking everything apart. That's why I got my CV axle up and over the way. Once the bottom part's out, you can remove the three nuts up top. Be careful with that because they can break off easy. And once you get the last one out, it is pretty heavy. You want to be careful here. And then you want to grab it. And then I'm just removing the last nut right now. And then once you get the last nut out, you will be able to squeeze the strut out past the tie rod and everything else. So once that strut's taken out, you can reassemble everything back in the opposite way that you've taken it out. I want to apologize that I couldn't show you the exact way to do it with everything still in the vehicle. Like I said, I'm rebuilding the whole front end, but hopefully I gave you enough knowledge that you should be able to hopefully figure it out. Anyways, if you have any questions or comments, post them below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.